Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So welcome to the new concept in the MongoDB that is aggregation framework. Up to now we have learned so many concepts related to the MongoDB. Previously we have learned about the geojson object, geospatial thing. So finding the particular person, so whether he is available in a certain area or not, or finding by near nearest by local restaurants or something like the shopping malls. So like these all the things we have seen it. And also we have seen so many operators in the MongoDB we have seen. Now let's move on to the next new concept that is aggregation framework. So what is this aggregation? So aggregation is one of the important concept that we need to learn in while we are learning the MongoDB. Let's try to see. Aggregation framework is just an alternative to the find method. So what I can say is aggregation framework is just an alternative to the find method. So how we will be using the find method? to query the documents so in the same scenario we use this aggregation framework also but aggregation framework provides us a lot of flexibility and lot of complex things we can do it using this aggregation rather than doing the find method aggregation is nothing but building a pipeline of steps that runs and passes to the next step so aggregation has a series of steps we can call it as in stages so pipeline of steps you will be having and step one input is carried as a step to output so it will be having a series of steps where the documents will undergo execution of the series of steps and it will give you a resultant output so that is the main thing in the aggregation aggregation operations process multiple documents and returns the compiled results so the aggregation operations process the so these are aggregation operations process the documents multiple documents and returns the recommended results you can use aggregation operations to group values from multiple documents together. So we, will, we, we, we can use these aggregation operations to group the values, to group the different types of documents, to, to group the same documents, perform operations on the grouped data. So whatever we have grouped the data, so to perform these operations and also analyze the data changes over time. To perform these aggregation operations, we can use two methods will be there. So to perform these aggregation operations. One is an aggregation pipelines that is nothing but it has a series of steps or stages which undergoes the series of steps to get the final end result which is the preferred method for the performing this aggregation. So this is the preferred method so which contains so a lot of flexibility for us to perform so many operations on a document. Single purpose aggregation methods are a different types of aggregation methods which are very simple but lacks the capability of an aggregation pipeline. So that means it doesn't have in any series of steps. It, contain, it has only the single single step only so it doesn't have a series of aggregation pipeline steps an aggregation pipeline consists of one or more stages that process the documents so aggregation pipeline as we already discussed it contains one or more stages so it can have one or more stages and the documents will go on the series of stages like that each stage performs an operation on the input document for example, a stage can filter the document, group documents and a calculate values. So each stage has a particular type of operations to be performed. So if you are coming from Angular background or RxJS, if you try to see it, so we will be having an operators in the RxJS. So first operator, that output will be passed as an input to the second operator. So like this, we will be having a series of operators and the final operator will give you the end result. In the same scenario here also aggregation operations has a series of stages it will go one from one stage to the other stage another stage to this another stage and these stages can have something like filtering first stage can have filtering of document and second step can have grouping of data and the last step can have the calculating the total value and the last step will be something like sorting so these are all the series of steps we'll be having so the documents will be going on filtering while going on these through uh, through all these steps the documents that are output from a stage are passed to the next stage. So what we have discussed. So the documents, it will be coming from the output. So stage one will give you an output and this output will be sent as an input to the next stage and next stage, second stage will give you an output and this output will be, will be went to the third stage. So like this, it will go on to the series of stages. So finally, we will get the output. An aggregation pipeline can return results for group of documents for groups of documents. For example, return the total, average, maximum and the minimum values. 
so the sample query looks like the aggregate uh, aggregate query looks like this one so db dot orders dot aggregate here aggregate means nothing but what i can say is uh, the method so here we have used find update mini insert one like this we have used it right in the same scenario we have this aggregate also and dollar match so here dollar match is nothing but filter so in the find method we have the first parameter is nothing but takes the filter where condition like that so here dollar dollar match is size medium so that means it is calculating orders from the orders collection it is taking the pizza filter pizza order so the pizza whose size is medium so this will be filtered only the medium pizzas will be sent to the next stage in the stage 2 so here the stage 2 means it will be grouping the documents by the name the pizza name so here we are getting all the medium pizzas so all the medium pizzas means each pizza can have a different type of name so we are grouping with the names pizza 1 pizza 2 like that and we are calculating the quantity total quantity is nothing but dollar sum quantity so this is the second stage so we will get an output so let's try to analyze this one the following aggregation pipeline example contains two stages and returns the total order quantity of medium size pizzas grouped by a pizza name I want to tell you this one only. The dollar match stage. So first stage is the dollar match stage. It's just like the find method. So here it filters the pizza order documents to pizzas with a size of medium. So here the in the match stage, the pizzas are filtered with only the medium pizzas, and passes that medium pizzas, the remaining documents, to the group stage. And here in the group stage, the groups the remaining documents by pizza name. So it will group with the documents with the pizza name. and uses dollar sum operator to calculate the total order quantity so the pizza names which are having the same pizza names documents right so their total quantity will be sum with each pizza name the total is stored in the total quantity field written by the aggregation pipeline so the another type of method which we want to discuss is the single purpose so this is nothing but an aggregation pipeline so this is the is aggregation pipeline operation so the, here this is how we will be using the stages so you can have more uh more than two stages also but it depends so we'll try to learn one by one so the another type of method which we have already discussed is the single purpose aggregation methods the single purpose aggregation methods aggregation documents from a single collection okay the methods are very simple but like the cap capability of an aggregation pipeline so this one is already discussed it previously only previously only now the method what we can say is some of the methods in single per, uh, single purpose uh, aggregation method sir db dot collection dot count so count means it will give you the total number of documents that are available in the collection or a view and another one is distinct 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 means it will give you the unique documents that are available in the specific field so for the specific field it will give you returns an array of documents that have distinct values for the specific field so these are some of the uh, single purpose aggregation methods which we will be having so we'll be using more often these things also but most thing you need to understand is the aggregation pipeline these are the things how we can write the stages and all those things let's try to see it. we have a dollar match dollar group dollar project project means which 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 variables we need to which fields we need to project it unwind so we'll be having so many methods so we'll try to see those all the aggregation operations operators sorry so this is all about the introduction of this aggregation framework so let's try to see the real time scenarios how we can use these aggregation methods in our query mongodb queries documents let's try to see it hope you understood about these aggregation operations if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you